You know, prostate cancer is the most diagnosed cancer among men in the United States. About one in eight men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer during their lifetime. Now, the good news, survival is nearly 100% when diagnosed early and contained within the prostate. However, when it spreads, five-year survival is only 31%, mm. making early detection critical. Truly. Here to help us understand more is Dr. Jeffrey Tesoyan, Assistant Professor of Urology at Vanderbilt University Medical Center. Welcome. Thanks Thank so you. much for being with us, sir. Thank you for having me. This is really important information. You know, there's this thing called a prostate, the PSA, which is how you can kind of diagnose it, right? Why don't you tell us, let's start there. Tell us what that's all about. So PSA is a protein produced by the prostate that can be measured with a simple blood test. PSA will be elevated in the vast majority of cases of prostate cancer. So traditionally, we use that to tell us who needed to undergo a biopsy, which is necessary to diagnose prostate cancer. The problem with that is that PSA is also elevated in many men without prostate cancer for very benign reasons such as simply having an enlarged prostate. In fact, only about 25% of men with an elevated PSA will be found to have prostate cancer. Look at that. Yes. And so if we perform a biopsy in all men with an elevated PSA, that means three out of every four biopsies will prove to be unnecessary. What do we know about the different types of prostate cancers, doctor? Yes, so we've learned a lot about that in the past two decades. We now know that about half of the prostate cancers detected based on an elevated PSA will be classified as low risk. And unlike most other cancers, low risk prostate cancer is actually so slow growing, so unlikely to spread that we don't recommend immediate treatment but instead we can continue to monitor with a process called active surveillance, which is great for patients. But the U.S. was slow to adopt active surveillance, meaning that in addition to the unnecessary biopsies, PSA was leading to a lot of diagnoses of low-risk cancers that then went on to be treated invasively, put men at risk of side effects. Mm. So now what's the solution? We needed a more accurate test that could distinguish these men with an elevated PSA due to aggressive cancer that we need to diagnose and treat as compared to those with an elevated PSA for benign reasons such as an enlarged prostate. Thankfully, in recent years, new blood and urine-based tests have been developed and shown to do just that, including my prostate score. My prostate score is a urine test for men with an elevated PSA. And while we know that PSA can be elevated for many reasons other than cancer, my prostate score detects two components of urine that are more specifically linked to cancer, mm. making that false positive test much less likely. Doctor, I was reading here, and it says here patients with a negative my prostate score tests do not have to undergo a biopsy. So how can you be sure you're not missing, let's say, an aggressive cancer in those patients? Yes, it's a great question. And the answer is because for so many years, all men with an elevated PSA did undergo a biopsy. Right. And so from clinical research of the my prostate score test, looking back into those populations, we now know that of men with a negative my prostate score test, the risk of having a significant cancer is only 2%. And so that, to me, is low enough, and more importantly, to most patients and their families, is low enough to feel good about the decision to not undergo an invasive biopsy. This has been personal to you because your father was diagnosed with prostate cancer when you were in high school, right? Yes, he was. He was in his 40s and found to have an elevated PSA. He underwent a biopsy, it found prostate cancer, and so he actually underwent both surgery and radiation for what we now know was one of these low-risk, non-aggressive cancers. Well, so he, did, he probably would not, nowadays, would not have even had surgery, right? Certainly not initially. Um, could have undergone surveillance. So that's exactly why he is you know, a perfect case of someone that had so much to gain from a test like my prostate score that could have said there's no aggressive prostate cancer present, you don't need to go ahead with a biopsy and all the potential complications that could create. Thanks for sharing that story. Is he doing okay? He's doing very well. Fantastic. Yes. Doctor, any final thoughts? Just that it's important for patients and their families to know about their options. Growing up from a non-medical family myself, I know how confusing and overwhelming these things can be, but they really don't have to be. We have a lot of newer tests and technologies that can give us accurate results in a non-invasive fashion that can help guide informed decision making. And so it makes sense to have this conversation with your doctor, with your urologist about prostate cancer and what 
you need to do to make sure that you have many good long years ahead of you. Thank you so much, Doctor, for being here. Great information. Thank sure. you. Thank you both. Sure. And if you'd like more information, you can visit myprostatescore.com, and you can always go to our website, thebalancingact.com. We'll be back right after this.